at ajmer some matter is filed number of petitions have been filed at varanasi number of petitions have been filed in agra and so on at different places now this time the courts have been used for floating all these communal issues it is the duty of the courts to save themselves all these courts from their misuse the abuse of the process of law dispute over the gyanwapi mosque to shahi idgah in mathura to now even conf- conflict over the qutub minar uh, so i want to kind of understand how do the various courts at various levels approach this entire inundation of such matters that are coming to them you see this time you will find that this is not these are not the bona fide litigation it is a campaign earlier in 1992 it was an agitation this was a public that was a public movement but now this time the courts have been used for floating all these communal issues it is the duty of the courts to save themselves all these courts from their misuse the abuse of the process of law so far as uh, all these uh, a barrage of uh, cases is concerned you will find that so far as trial courts are concerned at ajmer some matter is filed number of petitions have been filed at varanasi number of petitions have been filed in agra and so on at different places it was just a chance that matter reached to the supreme court also as a matter of fact it was the responsibility of the supreme court to check all these things at the highest level the court could have passed an appropriate order for not entertaining such petitions till having a decision on the issue about application of the uh, places of worship special provisions act of 1991 if that would have been done then this flow of the litigation this multiplicity of the litigation that would would have been checked you see earlier also with regard to, um, to my uh, memory the matters relating to entry tax they were coming to the courts in a big number supreme court passed an order restraining different courts from entertaining such petitions till having a definite decision from the supreme court itself in the instant matter too it was a responsibility of the apex court to check this flow Justice Chandrachur had suggested uh, in their order that uh, the 1991 Act does not create a ban on such proceedings to assess the character of a religious place of worship. So, but would that not would such a comment saying that 1991 uh, Act does not create such a bar would not would would that not defeat the purpose of the 1991 Act in question? You see the observation made by Justice Chandrachur. i think that has not been properly interpreted that has not been taken into consideration in a right perspective as a matter of fact you see these are every law is required to be applied in the given set of facts now if there is a there would have been a dispute with regard to nature of a living temple or a mosque that yes as per existing rituals as per as is existing mode of worship whether that is a temple or mosque of x sect or y sect sect just like it is there was a dispute of uh, rishabdev temple that looking to the mode of worship whether that is a jain temple or a temple of adivasis court arrived at a conclusion that looking to the all rituals followed it is a jain temple this is absolutely a different issue here in so far as gyanwapi is concerned it is a matter where the claim is that yes presently it is a mosque but 
centuries before it was a temple this is not permissible under the act of 1991 so so far as the observation made by justice chandrachud if that is required to be taken into consideration with regard to the mode of worship or can on the basis of that with uh, about the title or nature of that religious place all right that can be examined irrespective of the act of 1991 but we are a live mosque or a temple with a definite nature is there then merely on the count that in earlier years that is prior to 1940 15th of august 1947 it was of some other religion that is not permissible under the act of 1991 so finally could you just elaborate for us in like in a little bit that how do you think the allahabad high court as well as the supreme court could have dealt with this specific gyanwapi mosque matter differently what i think is that the first issue that should have been decided by the court is with regard to application of the act of 1991 because this issue goes to the root of the matter if the act of 1991 is having no application in the instant matter then there will, there is no question of going further by the civil court in this matter now you see ultimately for a moment assume it the civil court arrives at a conclusion that the act of 1991 is having application and this suit is barred by law even then a communal atmosphere has been charged because of these litigate these applications suits or whatever that may be these legal proceedings so people certain people are mischievously using the forum of judicial forum for their vested interest as to whether there if any law bars entertaining such suit then yes that can very well be examined by a constitutional court and this should have been examined by the constitutional by the allahabad high court as well as by the supreme court while dealing with the issue relating to gyanwapi masjid and kashi vishwanath temple